the lovely Starsha. Step right up to the microphone, and it's on. It's hot. Three, two, one. Hi, Virgo. Welcome to Supernova Moon Tarot. My name is Starsha. This reading is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. If this is your first time to the channel, it's a pleasure to be in your energy. Cross watchers, you know you always welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, thanks for coming on back. So Virgo, let's go ahead and dive straight into your reading. This is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What we're going to do is take a look at your current energy, see what's going on around you, how people see you, how you see yourself. What's the primary energy of the Virgo at this time? Spirit, angels, ancestors, ascendant master, please protect this reading. Please protect me, the reader. Please protect our vision. Please give us the answers that we need. Truth and clarity for the Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Protect the viewer. Prosperity and abundance. Protect us from all harm. Protect us from the the dark forces that are working against us, spirit. Emphasis on dark forces. Virgo, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and the North Node. Okay. Virgo, what is their primary energy, spirit? Primary energy for Virgo. Soulmate in reverse. Fear. Soulmate in reverse and fear. So this could be a fear of someone or an entity of the past. Fear of something that you have had a, a karmic, a toxic relationship with. This is an energy in your life that has put you through several cycles. Several cycles is what I'm hearing. Okay. This is some type of authoritative figure in your life. This is someone who played an emperor in reverse energy okay in your life so there's a fear here there's a fear okay there's a fear of a soulmate there's a fear of a connection a tie that you've had in your life and there was some type of codependency addiction attachment to this agreement with this entity and there's a fear of this entity this entity, again, operated in the energy of the emperor in reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with a love connection, okay? A partner who was abusive, took their power and authority and abused it to the point that a psychological fear has developed. An emotional... I want to say it's a five of swords energy. You could be dealing with a air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but I feel that someone took something from you or whatever weakness it is that they may see or they there's something vulnerable, okay, that you have given to this person that they took advantage of you, okay? They took advantage of you, five of swords energy. Again, you could be dealing with an air sign. So there's a level of fear, mental, psychological abuse, physical abuse, of a soulmate that took their authority emperor in reverse and they abused their power. They abused their power and they they preyed on the weak, okay? Or they or they took your kindness for weakness, okay? But there's still an underlining energy of fear here. What's the root of this situation? Ancestors, angels, clarity. Let's take a look in the past. Clarify the past. What was going on in the past? We have a polyamorous connection. So again, you were in a commitment. You were in a group, okay? You were involved in an entity, a third party situation. And we have air sign here. Again, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius is highly significant here. So in the past, there was a polyamorous connection, okay? What, what was this polyamorous connection about? Let's clarify that, please. Good fortune. Okay, so whatever connection this was, at the time, it brought you good good fortune. At the time, it satisfied a need for you. Okay, at, at, at some point in time, this satisfied some type of passion, some type of, some type of goal. Okay, something that you were, see, we have, exactly, we have earth here. We have the pentacle here. We have family matters. We have water sign. Wow. 
We have divine connection. We have victory. We have, let's take it slow. So in the past, okay, there was a victorious connection, okay? We have divine intervention here. In the past, whatever this was, whatever this soulmate connection was in the past, it worked for you, okay? Which, which again helps me see clearly that whomever this soulmate in reverse was, had you manipulated in some type of way. Because, because listen, now you're seeing the monster for who it is, soulmate in reverse. So there's a fear here. But there's clarity here that you were blindsided, that you were manipulated, that someone got one over on you. Someone took advantage of you. Someone abused you. Because th there's been a divine intervention to now where you're able to have the clarity to see the monster for who they are. But there's a fear here, okay? You could be dealing with the water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We've got family matters here. So family could be involved here in this particular situation. Again, you could be dealing with the water sign. There's earth here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. See, we've got good fortune. We've got polyamorous connection and we've got air sign. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of energies here. We have air, we have earth. We have water, okay? So this energy, this connection in your eyes promised you the skill, the reward, the recognition, whatever this was. Whatever this connection was, it made a promise to you, the skill, air. Okay, we're talking about, okay, so this could be something where you had to go to school for, you had to apply for, this could be some type of legality, okay? This could be some type of, some organization, okay? We have air, the intellect, okay? We have, um, we have social media, we have, we have wordplay, spells, we have the air sign, we have mental clarity, the mind, the consciousness. So it, 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 this connection was supposed to provide you an air of intellect, an air of advancement, an air of, I wanna say communication. So you could be in the communications. Whatever this industry is, whatever this person promised you, whatever this person told that told you that they would deliver the, how they psychologically manipulated you on this pentacle okay they emotionally manipulated you in this relationships earth is pentacle so we could be talking about a person who psychologically abused and manipulated you and and played mind games with you maybe even manipulated you for your money for your pinnacle something that you could provide for them they manipulated the emotions Either way, you spent a lot of time with this entity under the illusion that this connection was victorious. Let's take it slow. A lot of time went into this entity. A lot of time went into this entity. We have family matters here. Okay, we have family matters here. We also have good fortune here. So there was some type of financial value, okay? We have I'm done here at the bottom of the deck, by the way. There was some type of financial gain here, some type of financial tie here, some type of investment that was made in the past, whether it was with a career or with a spouse or with a, 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 an entity where you were living almost in a fantasy world. Let's take it slow, victory, good fortune, air, polyamorous connection. So I feel that whoever you were connected with or whatever you were connected with was connected with a lot of people, 
was connected with, had a lot of ties. You felt like being connected with this entity was going to provide you the good fortune that you need, but there's something about the clarity that you see about this soulmate, about this connection. There's a truth. So there's been a divine intervention here and there's the energy of being done. So what's crowning you? Good intentions. Okay, so what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is you don't want any problems. You don't want any smoke. Again, there's an energy of fear here because, and then look, the, the I, I'm done card came out. There's an energy of fear here because you know that this person has multiple connections. So there's a wanting to separate here. Let me see what, I mean, what's, what's coming towards the, um, What's coming towards the um the, the 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 Virgo here? What is this? What's coming towards the Virgo? Heightened intuition. Again, getting clarity about this situation, getting clarity, okay, about what it is that you need to do and what part that you need to play. Because I feel like there's an energy of escapism, wanting to escape something. It's like you're wanting to escape something. Okay, heightened intuition here. How do people see you? How do people see you? I'm willing to do whatever it takes. So people see you as no matter no matter how tough the enemy, hopefully this is resonating with some of you guys. No matter how tough or vicious the enemy, see some of you guys could be fighting a court case here. And these people are being very, very difficult to deal with. Very, very difficult to deal with. And they're taking a really long time. Polyamorous connection. We're talking about officials here, authorities here who are prying on your family matters, prying on your life, prying on your finances, prying on your information, okay? In order to win some type of case here. So there's a fear of an entity a fear of some something that made a promise to you or something that's supposed to tech, protect you. I'm definitely getting legalities here. But I see an energy of you being willing to do whatever it takes. I see you working with your lawyers. I see you doing whatever it is that you need to do to, to just disconnect here, to escape. There's an energy of escapism here. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. That's how people see you, willing to do whatever it takes for you to win, to get that victory. So, so, so what are your hopes and fears here? What are the hopes and fears? The hopes and fears of the Virgo. You're all I ever think about, single third party. Interesting. Interesting. You're all I ever think about, single third party. So you have this entity, this energy that is literally obsessed with you. See, because you're in the energy of being single, separated from this third party, from this entity. So there's a third party who is obsessed with you. There is an ex-lover who is obsessed with you that you are separated, that you are single from. Either this person is now single as well interesting hopes and fear so your hopes and your fears is again to keep that separation to stay out of conflict conflict and reverse but there's an energy of kind of being 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 i don't want to say victimized but 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 there's an energy of something not releasing you not wanting to release you you being done, but this energy still not wanting to release you, even if it's taking you through legal custody. But there's an energy of you being in an energy of escapism, but there's also a fear of what this entity or this energy could do. Okay? You're wanting to stay out of conflict, but you know that your enemy, whatever this energy is lurking over you, Virgo, you want to, there's an energy of desiring to escape, 
being done here. Okay. So what's the outcome and whatever this situation is here? I'm addicted to you in reverse. Okay. I'm addicted to you in reverse. I keep letting you back in. Resistance to change. So it really seems like this energy is going to be something that's in and out, in and out. I'm addicted to you in reverse. I keep letting you back in. Resistance change. But this is for now because the energy's always changed. This isn't permanent for life. But it seems like right now in this energy, whomever or whatever this is, is completely addicted to you. And you're in an energy of wanting to have an escape from this, an escapism. There's lots of stories that are that's coming in, guys. But, you know, hopefully... <laughs> is resonating let's um let's get some clarifiers here let's see who or what this is that you're 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 wanting to escape from here because we have the heart chakra here so this is something or someone that 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 is passionate heart chakra this it seems like that's going to be in regards to some type of relationship but when it comes to the legal stuff like these people are vicious Okay, let's see. Who who is this? What energy is this? Clarify what energy this is that that the Virgo seems to be wanting to escape from and, and is willing to do whatever it takes. Okay, I see the lovers card here in reverse. That goes right along with the soulmate card in reverse. You could be dealing with the Gemini. What is this energy? What is this energy? Who is this energy that the Virgo wants to escape from here? We have the five of pentacles in reverse. Someone who wants to come from being left out in the cold here. Yeah, someone, exactly. Remember the five of swords energy I was telling you about? A trickster energy. A trickster. You could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. This person wants to five of pentacles in reverse this person this inter this energy wants to come wants to come from out of being in the cold but it's still coming in this energy of trickery wanting to 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 steal deceive it's something about the energy of deception here whatever this energy is which is why there's a fear here because it's like you don't know what this energy has up its sleeve virgo you don't know what the what this person what this thing has up its sleeve so there's an energy of fear here wanting to move on wanting to escape wanting to live your life and do and being willing to do whatever it takes but just not knowing what angle these these people this entity is going to take exactly page of wands in reverse you could be dealing with a fire sign here you know you're dealing with someone who is who is sneaky a crook a malicious here you know someone who is snake-like all right someone who is very self-centered and will do just about anything to get what they want they don't care okay they don't care so you guys could be dealing with some legalities you could be dealing with someone who wants to take you to court and you know that they want to take you to court just to just to just to steal from you just to take from you I'm hearing someone say, you married me only to divorce me and take from me. <laughs> we have the seven of, of cups here in reverse. You could be dealing with the Cancer Scorpio Pisces here. So it's like this, this, this energy really tricked you this energy really fooled you this energy really hypnotized you or this person wants to hypnotize you this energy wants to come in and hypnotize you look they want to come in and like offer you stuff like if, if someone wants to come and like offer you drinks i would be very very like careful with that you see this mushroom in this cup 
Okay, there's something about the trickery of this energy. There's something about the facade, okay? The It's like an illusionist, okay? I'll be very, very careful with this person, this entity, this energy that's coming back. Seven of Cups, Page of Wands in reverse, Five of Pentacles in reverse, Five of Swords. This is not an energy that's trustworthy by far. Someone who always has trickery, something up their sleeve. It's, it's, it's so, and this is why you're in the energy of fear because it's like, you don't know what this person is, is willing to do, how low this person is willing to go. Any, any more clarifiers on who or what this energy is coming towards the Virgo here? Who are we dealing with? The Two of Cups, okay? You could be dealing with a Twin Flame energy here. Um, a Two of Cups. Tell me more about this Two of Cups who's coming towards a new start. So some of you um, um, Virgos are having a new start in a love connection with the Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. We have the world here. We have a new cycle here. We have the ending of an old cycle, the beginning of a new. So it seems like this is why the Heart Shock card is up as well because you are wanting to escape the past escape your the father of your kids the mother of your kids escape this legal situation escape this situation whatever this is and move on with your life open up your heart start a new world and end a cycle here you're wanting to again end the conflict you're wanting to end the conflict and you're willing to do whatever it takes this entity this energy this this situation just won't leave you alone. You're ready to close a cycle and begin a new cycle. So there's an energy of wanting to escape here. Okay, okay. So what, what can we expect from this outcome? And then we're going to pull an ancestor card for you guys, Virgo. What can, we, what can we expect as an outcome here for the Virgo? Okay, an outcome here. We have the Empress card and it fell out in reverse here. What's an outcome here? So there's a, a codependent energy here on an emperor. We have the Empress in reverse and we have the emperor here. So these are counterparts here. So we can talk about a divorce. We can talk about an empress who is dependent upon an emperor. We can talk about an individual who feels codependent upon this emperor energy. There's like a master and a submissive type of energy. The empress in reverse, the emperor upright. So these are counterparts here. These are counterparts here, but something's wrong. The Empress is in a codependent energy. Why? Why is the Empress so codependent to this Emperor? What is this Emperor to this? It's like this Emperor has something that over this Empress or something like that. Give me some more information here on that. Give me some more information on, on, on this. So we have, yeah, we have the lovers here. You could be dealing with the Gemini here. The lovers here. So someone could even be doing work to keep this empress uh, connected. Because we have this lovers card. We have this entity over, lording over this couple that's changed. So, so there could even be this emperor who is hypnotizing. Remember I said, be careful. Like, be careful. <laughs> someone could be hip. You could be under a spell. <laughs> um, some type of hypnotism or something like that. So there's a, there's a level of obsession here. There's a big devil energy here. There's a connection to this inner, this emperor energy that keeps this empress codependent, okay? Not operating in her higher energy. So this could be you, okay? We have the knight of swords coming here. So this could be some information here. What's, what's this about? What's this about? So this is kind of like the legal stuff that I was seeing here. Yeah. News about a yeah okay so that is what i'm talking about so there's gonna be some type of legal information a message coming through that look you about to be the king of pinnacles here we have the king of pinnacles we have the king of pinnacles coming in so 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 despite the ways of this emperor okay despite the manipulation of this emperor there's still going to be a message there's still going to be action taken where you come out as the king of pentacles here clarify the virgo as the king of pentacles exactly cancer scorpio pisces now we have the moon card here so this is something that that you can't see 
okay? This is something that is unknown to you, all right? So let me see, clarify this moon card because I can't tell if it wants to come up upright or in reverse. See, yeah, uh-huh, okay? So these days of stress, anxiety, feeling bound to something, feeling bound to whatever this is, is going to be over, okay? It's gonna be over. Clarify the nine of, exactly. It's going to be over. They're going to work to get you out of it. So so, so it seems like some of you guys are in some type of legal case, some type of legal battle where they are diligently working to get you out of this particular situation, to get you out of this case, this situation. So again, a lot of heavy spying, a lot of legality, a lot of authority, a lot of wanting to escape. Okay, a lot of wanting to start a new life, a new relationship, a new partnership, a lot of wanting to get away, okay? Get away from the past, get away from these the, this this legal this legal situation, get away from this marriage, get away from these ties. But there's going to be a message that's going to have you coming out as the king of pentacles. Let's get um some um Advice from the ancestors here. And then two, I'm gonna pull, I'm gonna, uh, I might pull some other cards here. Let's just see what the uh, angels oracle deck has to say here for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. See, focus, okay. So, mm -hmm. what does this mean for the Virgo to focus? So, so, okay. Think about what you want, not what you don't want. Guard your thoughts carefully because they create your experiences. Sometimes it seems that our thoughts choose us, but this is never the case. We always choose our thoughts every moment. Our thoughts always have an effect and there are no neutral thoughts. One half second before you hold a thought, you decide to hold it. So with practice, you can learn to monitor and alter your thoughts. This is the equivalent of putting your hands on the steering wheel of your life. You may believe that your concentration abilities are impaired, yet the infallible mind of God, excuse me, the infallible mind of God is within your own mind. You can create excuse me, you can experience remarkable feats of concentration by affirming, I am now able to focus my mind at will. I hold only loving thoughts and my angels act as gatekeepers in establishing a steady stream of loving thoughts. So <clears throat> again, there's an energy of your ancestors, your angel spirit guys telling you to, even though you're going through this time, even though you're going through this trial, keep your peace of mind, keep your, um, don't be in that eight of swords energy where you're having all of these thoughts that are going to create an energy of anxiety for you. Know that you have people working on your behalf. Even if you want to talk about in the spiritual realm, we have the eight of pentacles here. We have the eight of pentacles here. Someone who is skilled working really hard to get you out of this swords energy, this, this, this energy of the nine of swords. Okay. We have good news coming towards you, but what you don't see coming is the fact that you're going to come out as the king of pentacles, meaning that you're going to either remarry, you're going to become a husband, you're going to become a wife, you're going to move up in social status. Um, there's something about leveling up after coming out of this connection and whatever this energy is, it's holding on to you. There's something about it that's holding you back. So what your spirit team is telling you is to focus, keep in your mind what it is that you want, the outcome that you want for yourself. Let's go ahead and get another outcome card for the um, Virgo. What is their outcome energy here? What is their outcome energy for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? What is the outcome energy for the Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North? Forgive me, I'm sorry. Interesting. Twin flame, okay? So someone who doesn't want to let go wants to come back and they want to apologize and they want to say, forgive me, I'm sorry. But they're still in that five of swords energy that we saw. If you don't, if you, if you recall that Virgo, someone wants to tell you that they're sorry. Look, karmic debt in reverse, exactly. It's gonna be another karmic cycle and you have clarity on that. Remember the root of your reading was about clarity, having clarity, having peace of mind, a clear mind, just focusing on what it is that you want and the outcome that you want in this situation. All right, so Virgo, this is going to be your reading. It's been a pleasure to be in your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you guys really soon. All right, peace out.